So one thing I've never really thought about while I was doing this build is just how much cobblestone it takes and how long it actually takes to mine the cobblestone. Now most of it hasn't been like this, mining down here in a branch mine, looking for resources. No, it's been in the pit, and I'll show you that pit in uh, just a second, but... Yeah, down, down here it probably would have been a better idea. I would have actually had some decent amount of resources if I just kept up uh, getting my cobble this way, but... Nope, apparently I want to do a quarry. So, that's just upstairs. It's actually pretty much below the structure itself. It's slowly building out. It's so I made it a bit tall, so... It's not as impressive looking wide, width-wise yet, and it's kind of close to the surface, so I've hit the river behind my house a few times, but we'll go up there and see that. So going to our quarry, we go into our little new area here, I never really showed this, but it's been there for a few episodes now. We've just got a bunch of random tunnels, this is our furnace area where we usually cook up a ton of cobblestone. Random hallway going to a bunch of random rooms like this. This was going to be a storage room, but I think it's everything is just going to go up in the tower. Base is probably not going to be used too much. Like a few rooms like this. This is my original way I was mining cobble. And it's designed to be a pretty confusing mess of tunnels. So, back to the first room here, random room here, and down here leads to the lower level, which is our quarry, which also happened to connect down into our main cave that goes down to our branch mine. So this massive area is what I've been clearing out so far. It's I have no clue blocks long, but I have no clue blocks high, but it's a multiple of two. <laughs> That's all I know. And we've got eight blocks wide. <laughs> yeah, so this has taken a while. This is where I've been main solar is cobblestone, interrupted annoyingly by stuff like granite that I can't use. For granite? Dite? And decide I can. I think this is. Gotta know. Diorite, granite, and a little bit of andesite. Andesite is actually quite nice. I've been using that for the tile floor that I'll sh I've shown you. I don't know. I'm recording this in weird order, so don't worry about this. Yeah, just tower up and mine. Mine all the cobble. I really need some technology. <laughs> I really need an upgrade. <laughs> upgrade. I need to get uh, back up to level 30. I lost all my levels when I fell stupidly off the top of my tower after climbing a ladder. I was holding forward because it was such a long ladder and wasn't paying attention, and just walked straight off the top. Fell to my death. Lost 40 levels down to 12 or something like that. Yeah, I was at level 40. I was just about to enchant stuff too, knowingly. <laughs> but yeah. We'll need to upgrade. I really need like an efficiency 5 pick. This is, cause this is just tedious at this point. That, how much cobble that build is using, and I'm not anywhere near done the tower. The tower needs to be probably twice as tall as it is right now. What are doing? Twice as tall as it is right now. And yeah, it's just getting ludicrous. It might be nice to have a silk touch efficiency pick. That would be quite useful. But I want to get back up to level 30 so I can do full enchants again. Because I think. I want to go for the stronger chest. I want to get efficiency on breaking or efficiency on breaking silk touch would be ideal, but that's getting that's pushing my luck. Even just efficiency would be nice to get more cobbles so much faster. I like every time I play Minecraft, I've never had an issue with running out of cobble. I always have way too much. It's always in chests and chests. It gets thrown out all the time. But now, now that I'm actually building something out of smooth stone and cobble, oh geez, never have anything. That's why I like wood. Wood is actually really easy to get get a lot of, uh, especially planks, because one tree trunk is for wood. No cooking required, you just get it. So you just go out, chop down a few forests, and on here especially because uh, trees auto plant themselves, so if you leave a sapling on the ground, it'll randomly have the chance of uh, planting itself in a new tree born. Oh, fudge. What was I paying attention? Yeah, we're in extreme hills by them. So those guys have been. Oh, that was another one. Yeah, so they're, they're a little annoying, but they're fine. They've knocked me off here a few times. Especially from this top level, it hurts a little bit. Speaking of hurting a little bit. It's better to stay on the left side when you're up on the top, but then some of your cobble falls down to the lower levels, so. Trend stick on the right, but it's risky in case one of the silverfish pops up. But yeah, cobble. I never 
expect it to be so low on it ever. But at least charcoal is not too bad. I can just grab a forest that just outside my house over there, and it's quite easy to break. Get a lot of cobble, make a lot of charcoal, save a bunch to fill the furnaces. And like one row of this gives me about two stacks or so. I already had one stack on me, so yeah. And it's raining outside. Lovely. But yeah, we're gonna jump around until we cut again, and we'll see you somewhere else. Alright, and welcome. We are going to be tr oops, trying to do our first enchantments today, so I've created a diamond pickaxe, diamond boots, so we're hoping to get feather falling in the boots, efficiency something, high efficiency, hopefully I'm breaking on the diamond pick, and we'll see what we get here. Let's try the boots first. Uh, feather falling two, that's not really good enough. I want, I'd like to go for four. I'd like to go for 30 level on it. Uh, on the pick, we can get, ooh, efficiency five, I'm breaking three, efficiency two. Let's try it and hope that we get something else with it. If not, we're going to have to enchant a book. Ah, This is efficiency. You have to go now get an unbreaking book. All right, can we get... Ah, oh, protection. Feather falling too. No. Let's go grab a book. We got lots of leather. Now, we'll go... Cult the herd a little on the cows. If we can figure out where leather is using this Vortex texture pack, which is going to confuse me to no end. It's also not updated, so things like... Oh, is it? Oh no, yeah, it's not updated. <laughs> that thing makes no sense. Um... Reads. Do have reads? Reads? Paper? Reads? <laughs> Did, didn't they not make a bunch of reads? <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um... Sure, can you say who they are? They look like... <laughs> <laughs> so weird. This is why I don't use texture packs usually. Sure. Good enough. Um, so let me go. Let's make 15 books. That'll do. Let's see what we get on a book. Please, unbreaking would be nice. Got 30 levels, so let's see what we can put on here. Efficiency, luck. Ooh, luck to see. Eh, I guess we're not. F mm. I particularly want to use that. Um, there's nothing else I really want to enchant, so I guess we'll put that on a book. Or should we just waste one level and get something lower? We get luck of the sea for two levels. Because we're going to be short on level 30, though, if we use this, so that's our problem here. Um, hmm. That's not what I was hoping for. That's not even a good. <laughs> it's not really worth three levels. I think I'll go for... Let's grab a look at the sea on there. Let's see what we get for our next chance. Depth Strider. Ooh, that might be worth it. Depends if... Ooh, <laughs> Protection 4 on the book. Curious what... Oh, I can't... Uh, what would a pick get? Dang it! <laughs> That's probably worth it to get. Ugh. Dang it. I'm gonna make another I think I'll make another dime pick after I get a couple more levels. Um I probably should have another iron axe to go kill things with. Alright, I'll see when I got some more levels. Alright, so we're gonna go get that uh what was it? Fortune? On another pick here, that'd be nice. Might as well have it. Gonna need to get go uh, mine for more diamonds, so this would actually help us. I don't know why, I was just down there branch mining for XP and I picked up some diamonds like, I should have remembered that I was just about to put a fortune on the pick. Oh well. Unbreaking fortune? Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That is good. It's not a... It's, yeah, that's the best I could hope for. Blast protection. Dang it! I want... What do I get on my book now? Fire protection. Sure. Eh, eh. This is why I don't like. I need more levels. All the levels. At least it doesn't use 30 levels, but it takes forever to get them. Need to make a, some type of farm. That is going to be handy. Um, let's put that in a tools chest. I know it doesn't have them breaking on it right now, but I just want to see how fast this is. Compared to my iron pick. I haven't, I haven't used an enchanted thing in a long time. And then... We'll see what I'm going to do. Might see if I can get more XP. 
Uh, let's just go with Killer Show. I could have sworn these were faster before, but that's really nice. Oh well. Well, let's go back and figure out what we're going to do next. Oh, we could have a little more cobble. Except I'm getting really tired of doing mining cobblestone. This is meant to help me. If this was an unbreaking four, oh yeah, that'd be great. That's what I'm trying to get right now. And you need to be feather falling. And it is dark out. So I'm tempted on the building up there to try and do the do more of the interior framing with wood. Uh, it doesn't quite fit right in the theme, but it, it it would look nice. So let's go up there and show you how it looks right now. I've got the second floor in on the the big overshoot overhang part, and I've uh, framed in the upper floors of the main tower. Well, framed in half of the upper floors in the main tower. This tower needs to be about twice as tall. That's a creeper, not a tree. Mm -hmm. Really? Oh, well, let's grab the dirt. I'll fix that hole later. So, if we jump on up in here, on this side, we have an identical thing to the other side, and we've got our upper floors mostly crammed in. I've got a few pillars missing here, but ran out of cobble at that point. So yeah, we have a double height lobby here. Quite nice. These are going to be the main support beams. I'm tempted to use half slabs for the upper floors because I want these visible, on, especially on the this lower floor here. I want it to be a visible part. So either going to make the other part of the roof something different or make them slabs. I think slabs for the depth, at least for this first floor, would look nice. Just need to figure out which slabs would look right with it. The center parts could be open to skylight up the center. I haven't figured quite Oh, that's, oh, it's a heating vent coming on. Um, don't know quite what I'm going to do with these. Uh, don't know what quite look I want from there. I think I'm going to have to double the height of the tower to see just what it's going to look like first. If I just want to fill them in with like andesite here or do some uh, depth pattern where some of these go out farther than the others, which I think I might do on like every three floors or something like that. Yeah, this floor actually looks a lot better if you go back to Sortex, which I keep swapping back and forth. Sortex fan version. It's only a 1.8, so it's kind of a little stuff is bugged out, but it mostly works. But it gives you this really nice smooth floor, but I don't know. I'd higher res texture packs, like I think this is 64 by 64, just feel odd. But it, it gives give a nice look to the stone. I really think the stone looks so much better, especially the cobblestone accents on the outside. Oh, and the stone brick actually looks really nice too with it. Um, yeah, it just gives a bit more depth. Uh, there's another pack I used. I can't remember what it was. I think it was on one of my other computers. They gave this a nice darker look to it. I don't think it's on here. It might be for craft, but I'm not sure. And check on the licensing on that one, so I don't want to put it in the video yet. Um, so yeah, so that's done. Uh, and up here, we have put in a floor. Still need to figure out what to do with big openings. I don't know if I want to close them off more, put some vertical windows type thing, or just glass them out. Huge amount of glass there. Yeah, the plan is going to be a central hallway down the middle, rooms off to left and right, some two wide, some single wide type stuff. And I'm thinking an elevator for the center here. I'm thinking of that uh, piston puller type elevator that Etho had figured out. I, I've designed a, in uh, creative, I designed a per one that uses even less resources than his, no repeaters, just torches, and it works quite well. It does have some weird half tick re oddity about it, uh, powering it. Uh, might show that clip later, or I might actually do that. But yeah, this is mostly done. I've got. Oh, I just got to well, double the height of this, which is going to use all the stone. That's what that efficiency pick is going to be useful for. Figure out how I'm going to frame in these frame in these floors, and figure out where the stairs and the elevator are going to go. That's going to be a thing. I think it's going to go off this wall here. I'm going to probably build a bulge about that wide off the wall there, because this flat stone looks kind of odd from the outside. And let's just uh, go take. I'll show you that wall because it's, it's it's interesting. It's interesting having that big of a flat wall. At least I find it. it 
I mean, it looks so weird with the texture pack, but yeah, it's I mean, it's not bad. It could, if I wanted to keep with the look, I would just go for like a simple like indented strip on both sides, you know, the, very near the edge, just to give it a bit of depth to it rather than just being pure flat, but mostly flat. Go like a strip like that, but I think I'm gonna go with the bulge in the middle so I can put a stair stairs around an elevator type uh, type of deal there, so we can actually get up to the upper floors rather than just my weird ladders everywhere for now. Oop. Let's pay attention where we're going. So anyway, I'll stop here. We'll see where else we're going to go. All right, so we're going to try something here. We're going to uh, try and use some slabs here to see how that would look for the floor. I've got a slight idea. We're going to try and use wood. Not quite sure on the wood. Uh, I was trying to do this mostly out of stone, so this is... I feel like this would be cheating slightly, but it's so easy to get wood. I just want to see how it looks. So we're going to surround it with a uh, spruce wood and do light oak in the middle. Or not light oak, birch in the middle. That would be the plan for every section. Oh. Yes, put it somewhere I could physically place that. Let's see just how this looks. Stop doing that! <laughs> I, I like the look, look of, uh, I, there's no way that can physically place their Minecraft. Why do you think that's the proper spot? I'm gonna punch you. Yeah, so I, I like the look of, I always like the look of these two together. It's what I typically end up building my houses out of. But, see if this throwback is too clashy from the bottom, or if it looks fine. Yeah, it looks... Nice, I just don't know if it fits. I'm really liking the stone, and that's kind of garish compared to the stone, so I'm not sure that's gonna happen. Shut up, cows. Need to remove those guys. Yeah. I'll do in I'll do in one one more, but I think they're gonna go. Oh, that's night. Yeah, whatever. It's lit up enough here. Ignore that one. But yeah, I think this is just gonna go. And someone's bugging me on Skype. Get the other sounds off. Stop it! Why is that bug so prevalent? It makes no sense why it likes to jump down. I, I get that's a default position for slabs, but why is it forgetting where I clicked? Still would, still would want vertical slabs. I want slabs I can put up against a wall. I like to have like thin walls and then just be like veneer them with a just a nice little slab or something like, like that have stone wheels on the outside but have the inside wood without making it ridiculously thick. So let's see how this looks. Uh, but I think this is just gonna go... Mm, doesn't... It, it looks good, it just... I don't think it quite fits the theme I'm going for here. I guess there's nothing gonna creep in on us. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna fit into the theme. Oh, geez, I just realized their sounds are getting <laughs> destroyed. Sorry about the cows. Yeah, I, I think it's... Mm, I kind of like it. I, I I don't know. I think it's going to... I got to go stone. Maybe what I'll do is I'll go... Uh, stone slab uh, accents. Or maybe cobble slab accents. With stone brick insert. I think that's probably what I'm going to do. I just wish there was an andesite slab. That would be... Yeah, andesite slab. That would be nice. It would fit the theme better. there. But yeah, the wood's not going to fit in nice. Uh, it'll be used for other accents, but... The floors are too noticeable, especially these ones, because they are exposed up top and bottom because I want the depth here. Oh, well, see you guys next time.